Hey everyone, the stream is starting. Welcome Pyro. You're here early as ever. How you doing today? Hey Ron. As you can probably see, I have a new hideout. Well, okay, it's the exact same hideout. I just downloaded one online. And this is the version I ended up with. I really like it. Made a few small modifications, but generally it's pretty much exactly as you'd expect. Yeah, I really do too. I like being able to see like the space beneath. Like we're like we're at the end of the world. Oh my gosh. Is this pirate house music? We're just going to do a map to a uh, warm up. Oh, I'm excited today. Today we're going to be doing something quite fun. While I've been off stream, I have been kind of buying up the market on catalysts because it's a very good deal. Ooh. A little lag here. Uh, let me just grab something quick. Or everything eats me. But I currently have 3,000 catalysts sitting in my bank. And today we are going to gamble all of them after our warm up map. We're going to be able to see. Whether I can make money on it or not, because I spent well over 1200 chaos on it, so about five or six divine. I do hope that I make money, that, that would be really nice. <laughs> At least don't lose money. That would be also nice to not lose money. I'm fairly confident in the catalyst market, though, so. Everyone needs prismatic catalysts. And what I didn't realize in the original catalyst video I did about gambling them is that prismatic catalysts, which are like the one that I always think of as the most expensive since they usually sell for about 19 chaos, are not the most expensive catalyst. The unstable catalysts are like, I believe they're for critical strike chance, are about 28 chaos each. Which costs like 560 chaos to get one item to 20%. Ridiculous. But hey, if we're... If we're going to have such a, a crazy prices, then let's drive the market down a little bit. Make it a bit easier to buy things. And also I can make some money while doing it. <laughs> It'd be really cool if one day we had the type of community where we can change the market on on like our whim. It'll be a while before we have that sort of power. You need a lot of people buying and selling because a single a single person buying catalyst is not enough because there's just so many on the market. There will always be more people bringing out more catalysts. But if you if the uh demand is or if the uh supply is kept up with then we could actually change the entire market. I'd really love to drive down the price of uh, Prismatic Catalyst because 
it's really useful being able to add 20% more resistances onto whatever you're doing. So, like, I feel like that's kind of an important thing for most builds. Like, the chance that none of the four uh, accessory pieces you have... The, the ch you're most likely going to have an accessory, at least one accessory piece that benefits from Prismatic Catalyst. So it kind of feels stupid that they're so expensive because they're so important to pretty much every account. It doesn't matter what type of player you have, what type of um, what type of skill you're using. They pretty much all will benefit from that. So let's drive down the price. Not that. My buying thousands of catalysts has actually had any effect, as far as I can tell, though. Last time I checked, I had driven the price of the like the super cheap catalyst, the abrasive and, and imbued, under three per chaos. So, like on average, they were closer to like two per chaos. So I guess that is a change, but. It also might be the times I'm I'm on at and all of that. I mean, I'm sure things are a bit different in like European time and such. Singapore time, you know. Also, you might not really be able to tell, but if you can tell, there's a bit of a difference this stream than there was last stream in my damage and my survivability. Last stream I was like suffering a lot more trying to survive stuff like this. This is a 67 quant tier 16 map and I'm not having any issues even at like the most crazy spots. The reason for that is I finally bought my Forbidden Flesh and Flame the opportunistic ones. So the flesh here cost me a little bit under 5 div. And the flame here I got for really cheap. And by really cheap, I mean I got it for 24 div. Because they're just that expensive. Like I've seen them go for like up to 40. So I'm very happy that I got the set for under 30 div. But it was a very painful expense. My bank has not recouped since then. <laughs> but I am very happy to have actually gotten them. Because after playing with them for a little while, I realized that Opportunistic is so good. Because if there's one, th if there's one rare or unique around, you gain 10% more damage, which is crazy. If there's two around, which there usually will be if you're mapping and just dealing with rares, then you'll get 10% uh, or... Wait. You take 20% less damage, I believe, from everything. Let me just double check that. that. Does it not say the effect of opportunistic? Wow, that's really annoying. It does in my inventory, okay. Oh, I, I get 25% more damage when there's only one rare or unique round, and I get 20% reduced damage taken when there's at least two rares, which is usual in maps around. So this will do like stupid damage to when I'm actually doing like solo boss fights, so like Sirius, Elder, etc. But as soon as I'm in maps, I'll have a huge damage reduction, which is really good. I also will have a special damage reduction in the Uber Elder fight because there's two of them. <laughs> yeah. Put Kitty in a corner. Eh. I'm tanky, but I'm not that tanky. Nox, the only catalyst under three chaos are under three chaos? You mean they're... Wait. What What do you mean by that?
if I'm reading that correctly, you're saying that imbued catalysts are three chaos apiece. Uh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> going. I need to go this way, I think. Go down here? There's the boss. Let me make a portal, damn it. Where are you? There you are. Set up, and boom. Oh, oh fuck, there's another one. Right, this one always says two bosses. I always forget that. Okay, it seems to be gone. I think that's all for this map, more or less. For the sake of having a better understanding of what you're talking about, let me show. Let me first show off the catalysts I have. So, I have 1,800 intrinsic catalysts, 600 tempering, and 600 abrasive. So, oh, it would really help if I turn my Awake into POE trade macro on. One of the best, most important things you could ever buy, ever download for, for Path of Exile. I think these are old stats because those don't look right. Let me check the actual site. Oh, yeah. There's almost nothing for three for chaos. There's one at three and one at 3.5 for the catalyst and nothing else. And I recognize one of these and they're a price fixer. Two price fixers. Yeah, actually, I, th I think I've successfully driven the price of uh, chaos of uh, catalyst upwards. <laughs> <laughs> from a 3 to a Chaos, more to like 2 to a Chaos now. Like, all the really cheap ones have been bought up, for the most part. Either that, or people who are watching my videos and doing it, because I have put out videos on this, and they have gotten a fair bit of views. So, just saying... I have so many cr cluster jewels I need to craft. <laughs> I'll need to work on that at some point. Uh, just so everyone knows, we also have another really fun thing coming up. Uh, we have a Voidborn Reliquary key gifted to us by our very own Pyroclasm720. They wanted us to open this during the stream, so we're going to do so. And we're going to see what sort of goodies we can get for them. So, make sure to all... Right to the guard of RNG when we do that. For now, though, we are going to play with some catalysts. Get everything out of my inventory. So, first thing I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the stacks of 600 catalysts. So I'm going to do the abrasive catalyst first, and then we're going to see what comes out of it. I've taken all of my catalysts out of here besides 
this 3000. So we will be able to directly pump them right back into here and see what our results are for through there. Uh, I spent somewhere upwards of 1200, 1300, 1400 chaos on this selection here. So I'm hoping to get something back from it. So let's start with the abrasives. I do them in sets of 150. It tends to be the most effective way I find. Otherwise your inventory is just too full for them to take anymore. Because it, it wants you to have enough space to keep every single one of these items as if they're separate items. I'm actually, like, really nervous right now, because I don't know... Like, I took a big gamble on this, so I'm kind of worried how it's actually going to turn out. We have three unstables and five pris prismatics so far. Take the three out of there. Off there. We have eight fertile, three unstable, one accelerating, and eight prismatic. Okay, so 13 prismatic, 13 fertile, forgot the name of it for a second. <laughs> 13, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, so we've gotten 13 fertile, 13 prismatic, 4 unstable, and 1 accelerating. So, the Fertile, I've found that you can very easily sell them for 9 Chaos apiece. So that's 117, plus another 4 times 28, which would be 112, plus 3 for the Accelerating Catalyst, and then 13 times 18, plus... 13 times 18. Oh, nope. That's not right. But again. Okay, so 232. 13 times 18. 234 plus 232. So we made 476 chaos off of the 600 abrasives. And let's assume that I bought them for two to a chaos, so half a chaos each. Uh, I generally got a better deal than that, closer to two and a half or three. So I would have put in about 300 at the absolute max, close to 200 chaos. So let's subtract, let's subtract 250 just to be like really super conservative about this. So we made a div off of those 600 right there. Go the next. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread these out. Make it easier for them to stack. Let's do the 600 tempering next. Can I do all 150 with that much of my inventory? No, I can't. Oh, 
just that much. A little bit less, close to 100. Oh, I should have put some of this aside, actually. I just realized. Okay, so we had 13 fertile catalysts. We had four unstables. I want to split this. We had 13 prismatics. And we had one accelerating. Okay. Now I'll keep going. I want to break this down based on how much we got from each. Just get a good concept of how much money you can make on average. And I'll start doing some of the extras from doing this. Noxious. Expensive one. I got... Oh, what of this... Prismatic. Or not prismatic, the abrasives. Imbued! That's the word I'm looking for. I always watch to make sure that there aren't any scraps in the cell tap, or you're destroying essence. You're destroying catalysts. No, nope, no one wants to destroy catalysts. Okay, so from that 600, 600 tempering, which usually are a little bit more, but uh, I managed to find a decent deal on them. So we have 7 times 9 for the fertile catalyst, 7, ca seven fertile catalyst, 63. 28 times 5 unstable catalysts. That's 203. Then we have 15 chromatic, sorry, 15 prismatic catalysts for 18, plus 3 for the accelerating catalyst. So we got 476 chaos from. Turning in all 600 of those tempering catalysts. And going back to it again, I probably spent about 250 on that. 250, 300 chaos at maximum. So I'll just take out 250. So we made a tiny, tiny bit more than the last time, but still about a div off that. Okay, back in now. Now we're going to do the 1800 entrance. Move Lily closer. Okay. Have oh well, that's our that's a great start. Two unstables, two prismatics, no fertile, two accelerating. Okay, oh, we got five uh, fertile catalysts now.
I don't want that. I'm not converting my prismatic catalyst into, like, fucking imbued or something. That would be awful. I don't want to waste my precious prismatic catalyst. Also, click off. We have three times the number of intrinsic that we did of the other two, so I'm well. I'm hoping to get three div profit. That would be ideal. That out there, my life a bit easier. Start working on some of these other ones too that are coming out. Anything that comes out that's not one of these four is going right back into the merge cell tab. So I don't have enough to handle them. Gonna have too many unstables in a second. Too many for the stack, I mean. I just don't want anything to appear over here that's supposed to be over here. Because I might accidentally shift click it into the thing. L tab, and that's the last thing I want to see. That would be very, very sad. Technically, if you want to make the absolute most amount of money, you can also save the tempering catalysts, too, and sell those. Because on average, at maximum, or like, sorry, at, at at minimum, they tend to be worth uh, two to a chaos, or even better than that. Same with the intrinsics, which are almost a chaos each, generally. So these intrinsic I got for really, really cheap, otherwise I wouldn't be gambling them. Oh, well, our three stacks of fertiles filled up. I have enough of all those stacks there. Go in. Oh, something. Start bringing out a little bit less because our bases, our inventory is trying to fill up. It can't output as much now. I don't need to leave them in my inventory like I am. If anything, it'd be better to shift click them into the tab. But I want to be able to show off exactly how much we're making. After all, this is kind of meant to be instructional. As well as kind of fun.
Okay, it's all the intrinsics, the turbulence. I don't care for the temperings, they're also going in in a second. Yeah, and then just four being left. Effect. We're just about done the six or eighteen hundred. Okay, and that finishes us off. So in total, bring them over to here. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep them here for a second because I have a plan. So we managed to make 11 unstables, 38 prismatics, 38 fertiles, and 20 accelerating. What about our handy dandy calculator? Okay, so 28 times 11, 308 chaos worth of unstables. Hey, Maestro, we're just gambling catalysts. Good morning. Plus 38 times 18 addicts. Nope, that is not how anything works. Have of history back. Okay. But again, copy that. 38 prismatics times 18 chaos plus 992 chaos. We have 38 fertiles times 9. 1334. And then it's just those be just plus sixty. So out of eighteen hundred intrinsic catalysts, we managed to get close to fourteen hundred chaos back. And again, going by it, we're gonna say that I put in about eight hundred chaos to get this, which is a bit under probably what I paid. Because I usually bought things around two and a half or three to a chaos, but we're going to just be very conservative about this. So that's another 600 chaos profit there, which is almost three div on its, on its own. If you add that to the uh, first two, which were, I believe, 216 and. 8, I believe. Well, okay, that's the rough amount. So roughly, we made about a thousand chaos profit on this. And, well, we'll divide that by 235, which is the current price of, of divines right now. So we made about four and a half divines profit after, after vesting six divines. So we got about Ten and a half divines back from it gross. And by gross, I mean, like, that is the total amount of money worth of goods that we received back, even though that's not the actual profit. Because growth, gross is, gross income is profit plus expenditure. Actually, I can just... <laughs> It just occurred to me that I'm trying to do I'm trying to do some math here that I really don't need to do. Because what I can do is rather than just doing what I'm doing, I, I don't know why I forgot about this. Because I can just do the final math using the actual catalysts instead of just guessing. <laughs> So, in total, on average, 
I spend about two and a half or uh, two and a half uh, catalysts per chaos, so about 0. 0.4 of a chaos each. So I'm going to say we put in 3,000. And I'm going to divide that by maybe 2.5. Yeah, I've divided by 2.5, which would be 1,200 chaos average. So that's how much we put in, 1,200 chaos there. And now we're going to actually do this. It'll be 560 for the unstables. That's 2, 280 times 2. Yeah, that's 560. 560 for the unstables. Oh, we have so many prismatics. 64 prismatic catalysts. 18. It's 1152 on its own. Plus the 560. Times. No. We have 58 per tile. 58 per tile times 9 chaos apiece. 522, and then plus 66. So that's how much we grossed right there. 2300. Chaos. Which is almost exactly 10 divine. And then minus the original 1200. We have 1100 chaos profit. Or if we divide that into the current cost of divines, 4.7 divine. Just by converting stuff. And I'm not going to say it didn't take a while for me to find people to actually sell the catalyst to me, but, you know. Okay, so I guess I'm going to put all this back in now. Wow, that is just really nice to see. Well, I guess we're gonna it's gonna be crashing the market later. Yeah, so these are generally run eighteen right now for the prismatics. Show off their actual prices. Oh, I think the unstable spiked up to thirty then. So that would actually be more profit. Fellow ratings are still at three, and fertiles should still be at nine. No, no, they're going up to ten. Wait. They've actually gone more expensive. That's interesting. Okay, well, whatever. Made lots of money. That is the TLDR. <laughs> oh, we can do a Metamorph, too. I forgot about that. Bell Jewelry. Why, yes, I would like more Catalysts, definitely. I like Catalysts. Little known fact about me. Fossils and catalysts. Catalysts? So let's go blow up a metamorph. In the Aspirants Plaza, apparently. Wow. Oh. Getting to be so many, like, special places to teleport. Blow up a metamorph, blow up a metamorph, boop. Oh, I love this build so much. Eh. So, bit much. Trend six. Abrasive. And that's it. Yay. Reading metamorphs doesn't really feel like it's valuable. <laughs> Gotta say. Turn down the music a little bit. Okay, what shall we do today? Now that we've gotten all of that done. You know what? We're going to jump into something fun.
We're going to do the Voidborn Reliquary key now. You hear Pyro? Yeah, I'm sure they're lurking somewhere. Oh, okay, good, you are still here. Okay, let's try this reliquary key of yours. See if we can... See if we can make anything fun out of this. Anyone want to, uh... Anyone want to take a guess as to what this is going to be? Actually, what would probably be a better guess is, or better thing to guess at, would be what color is it going to be? Because that only has like six options. I'm thinking it's going to be a green one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a headhunter. It could be. It's not impossible, but... Unfortunately, it's kind of unlikely. <laughs> I like the, like, cherry blossoms and stuff. Okay, blue headhunter. Let's do it. <gasps> oh! Oh! That's a Relicash's Impatience! I recognize that! I should have brought some Wisdoms with me. Oh my gosh, Relicash's Impatience, when it got buffed, it went up in price a lot. No, it's not! It's a Tor... 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 Tor choke Step? Oh, perfect Totem Life! Which is actually the most important stat on here. Well, okay. It's not going to be that valuable if you can't register the fact that it's a fucking rainbow! God, that's beautiful! So, you, you gonna, gonna make a totem build? <laughs> I, think this, I think the game's telling you to make a totem build. <laughs> Oh, that's gorgeous, though. Okay, well, let me really quickly glance at the trade site. Or choke. Uh, nope, not torchic. Or tor tor tor. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate autocorrect, because I wouldn't have been able to spell that otherwise. Okay. Oil variant. Rainbow. There are no rainbow ones on the market. That are online. There are no rainbow ones on the market at all. Okay, let's just go to any variant. No, let's try it again. Any Voidborn variant. There's a few different ones offline. Online. So for the fixed color ones, they're somewhere between 40 Chaos and uh, 2 Divine. But again, none of these are the rainbow ones, like the cool one that we got here. Yeah. God, this is really cool, though. I definitely, I can definitely understand you wanting to make a build around it, because I totally would, too. This is actually a good item. Okay, well, I'm going to put it right there. And we can worry about that later. Are you online? Yeah, you're online.
I'm gonna come visit you. Hey, you. Hi, Pyro. Here are your beautiful, beautiful Orchoke Step. <laughs> Have fun with those. And thank you for letting us open the key on stream. Okay, so what sort of stupid shit can we get up to, is my question. Hmm. How much are the Maven's Ritz? They're 1.3. Do I want to waste a Maven's Ritz just trying it without any prior knowledge as to how this works? I've never, I've never fought the, the Maven before. I have no idea how this works at all. I just know that there's a memory phase... Which is awful for someone like me, who has no fucking memory. <laughs> Should we do it? It's 1.3 div down the drain if I fail. <laughs> well, where are my Chaos Gremlins in chat? I know you're there. Ah, there's one of them. The gremlin leader, Ron. Okay, this is almost assuredly going to lose us the writ, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to turn down the music even further. For me, at least. Because I want to focus on this. Oh, gosh. Well, at least the money that I just made won't go to waste. Oh, God. You know what? No, I'm... I'm entirely turning the the music off because I'm, I'm, I need to focus because I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Can't stress this enough. I have never ever fought the Maven before. I've read the Wikipedia page or Wikipedia. I've read the Pee Wiki page on the Maven a few times, but not enough to know what's going on. Oh, hi. That looks like a Terraria boss. You gonna spawn here? Oh, well, it doesn't seem to be very tanky. Uh, well, that health bar is gone. Um, uh-oh. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, okay, so that, I guess I can walk onto the outer platforms now. I... Uh, used. What do I do? Oh god, who are you? I don't like you. Are these just random exiles? Am I just surviving? Oh, this is a random boss. Oh, oh, that's piety. Oh, and the, uh, and Yatula. And another Yoris. Away. Sculptor. Ow. Oh, I can attack the nucleus now. Okay. Okay. I don't know whether I need to be focusing on the bosses or focusing on the nucleus, but... Oh! I think... Focusing on the nucleus was the right call. What? Is this the memory game? Pop, left, bottom. Pop, left, bottom. Oh. Oh, I need to not walk into the center. 
Okay, that makes sense. Hello. Oh no. Hi, Maven. Goodbye! Okay, Maven's down again. That good? Why well, okay, I get I assume it's good. Uh boom. Okay. Big boom. And then I attack this thing? Yeah, I attack this thing. Okay. So he spawns bosses, or whatever it is, spawns bosses, and I need to kill it so that the bosses go away. And then the Maven's over here right now. So if I just dump a bunch of mines on her, uh oh, oh no, don't like that. Oh, those those things stay. Okay, top. Uh oh, god. Top. Left. Bottom. Top. Bottom. Top. I don't have any memory. I'm not good at remembering things. This is the worst for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where did you go? There you are. I don't want to stand still. That sounds bad. Okay, well, her health bar is gone again. That's gotta mean something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 that scared me. Okay, gotta set up, gotta set up, gotta set up. Fast, 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 fast. Okay, dump. Set up the mines, dump the mines, dump the mines, dump the mines. Cull, 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 cull. Thank you. Please don't give me another memory thing. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Uh, no, I don't want pain. Why is there pain? Why does there have to be a cascade of pain? That doesn't sound nice. Oh, there you are. Oh no. I don't want to sit still, though. I don't want to sit still in this. This sounds awful. Where... Uh-oh. Okay, no, I can... Okay, I don't... Where... Where do you go? You're not seriously doing the memory game right now! I don't... I didn't see what that was! I didn't see what the memory game was. Or the memory thing. Okay. You need to die before I do next. Or we are going to have a problem. I did it! Holy fuck, I killed the maven on the first try without any knowledge. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, Maven. We can be friends. I like friends. Be friends. They seem so sad. Why am I tearing up? Oh my god. There's something about that actually made me feel kind of really sad for them. Aw, I don't usually feel thing things about video games, but like... That was really sad and heartfelt. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess I killed the Maven. I already had the achievement because I got someone else to carry me at some point in like a few leagues pack, but this was me earning the achievement. Oh, there's my void stone. Let's put that in its spot. I don't think I've, I've never gotten this void stone for myself, so that's pretty awesome. And this will mean that even the uh, earliest maps are now tier 12. So majority of my, uh, half the atlas at least, is tier 16. Nope, two-thirds of the atlas are t is tier 16 now. That's good.
You can get a nice variety of maps dropping. Hi! There's something bigger than the Maven? What the hell does that mean? I didn't realize that there's going to be something after the Maven. Well, I guess it makes sense that there's going to be something after the Maven. And if I were to guess, we're probably going to see it in two months. Because the league ends and the new league... The new league starts in about two months at the end of the year. And usually the end of the year... It's when they want to do the big stuff. Yeah, at the start of the year, I can't remember. So, like, somewhere in, like, the... the d somewhere in, like, the December to February range, we're probably going to see something new. Yeah, I know... <sighs> see, I get what you're saying about how, how they would be referencing the Eater of Worlds and the Searing Exarch, but... I don't know, something seemed off about that. Like, the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds are... They seemed like rivals. But what this thing is referencing is something much bigger and more dangerous than the Exarch and the Eater of Worlds. So... I don't know. That's I'm just thinking. It's all. Oh, we got stuff. What the hell's that? I don't. It looks like a shoe. That that looks like the look. It looks like a slipper. I know it's a belt, but it looks like a slipper. I don't know what this is. Holy shit, I can't believe I, I beat the Haven, though, because I've been dreading that fight for so long, and I've never done it for a reason. Uh, okay. This is where you get the absorption charge thing. Modifiers to minimum power charges instead apply to minimum absorption charges. Maximum absorption charges to maximum power charge. Charges as well. Gain absorption charges instead of power charges. Plus one to maximum power charges. That sounds like it would be really. That sounds like it'd be really good if it wasn't for my build being reliant on having power charges. <laughs> cool. You are going to sit in my bank, and you will go with me to standard, and you will go into my unique stash, where I am currently trying to collect one of everything. Okay, Kirak. You all, you must have something to say about that. Okay, you're you're right, Pyro. That it's definitely referencing the Eater and the and the series. Because like referencing um needing me as her champion, like that's I mean you're her champion in the fight. In both both the Searing X Arch and the uh, uh Eater of Worlds fight. Cool though. Uh 
That gives me a point, and I have no idea what to put the point in. Do I want to risk getting stomped? Not. Hmm. <laughs> Once I could borrow somewhere. I like my rogue metamorphs. I can just steal two points from somewhere. Okay, I don't need to send to the map. Oh wait, no. I have no I know what we need to do now. Tax influenced by the elder in your map have five percent increased pack size or elder. Uh I'll pick elder. Not. Cosmic wounds. Shaper's Realm is level 85. The Shaper and the Elder's full of powers and unleashed in the Shaper's Realm. The Elder and the Shaper and the Shaper's Realm 100% increased chance to drop an Orpa Dominance. Uh, to translate that, this unlocks Uber Elder. Or unlocks Uber Shaper. And Uber Uber Elder. I don't want that many. Here, I'm full of confidence and bullshit, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, let's try the first Uber Shaper of the League now. This is going to be way harder than the, than the Maven, though. Well, okay. Um, it's going to be harder technically, but I have more familiarity with it. So, I don't know. Hi, Piety. No, get the fuck away from that. Oh god, not the vision of justice. Mm. <laughs> Always does so much damage. Yep, no, go away. It's a butt. That's not what I should be focusing on right now. <laughs> oh. Hey. Where go? Oh, hello. Temple map, nice. God, I got my flash charges back after the stupid vision of justice or goddess incarnate or whatever you want to call it. Every time you encounter it, it has a different name. Did I kill him? No. Got close, though. Oh, leaving. Darn it. My bottle faith is still low. Okay, I don't think there's a talky-talky phase involved in the 
Uber Shaper. So I guess right into the Uber Shaper. Oh, God. So, moral of the story, I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> I did, like, a, like a, I chipped off a fraction of his health. Like walking into a cave full of wolves and them all, like, turning to look at you suddenly. It's like, oh, fuck. Let's... Ow, I did not notice that's what he was doing. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And beam? Well... Okay, so I know what's going on, I'm just not reacting to it properly yet. I dealt with the uh, purple ball phase. The bu I dealt with the bullet hell pretty effectively, but I'm still struggling to dodge some of it. Oh. Okay. Need to make sure I stay out of the way of the well, because there's a lot of clones right now. I also need to not. St Ugh. Need to avoid those. Ow! 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 Butthead. Big butthead. This is why I need an omen of revenge. That's the one when you, if you die you get twenty you do deal twenty five percent more damage to whatever the thing is that was nearby. Teleport. Nope. Nope. Mm. Almost. Almost got fucked by that. Nope, 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 no, no, no. Ow. Nope. No, 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 no. Nope. Teleport. Damn it. You're right. He does have a head for a butt and a butt for a head. His, his face is also a butt. A butt on a butt. <sighs> okay, last portal. <laughs> to be fair, I did consider that I might not survive this, but I did hope to do a little bit better than this. Please? No, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Nope. Always, always gets off str off screen and then immediately, immediately does that. Immediately beams. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Ugh! <laughs> Okay, you know what? This is fine. I don't mind being here. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to set up on him properly. I'm... Yeah. He's going to regen it like, a little bit, but whatever. I, I can't worry about that right now. The most important thing is that I survive this. And get all my flash charges back that I that I need.
Uh, that? No. I mean, I could jump across. I'm not eager to go back into the arena with the shaper, I admit. <laughs> I'm just like, can I stay here? Nicer here. Less painful here. Okay, charges are going to reach full on my flask suit. Oh shit. Still in his talky talky phase. Ow. Yeah, I mean I did pretty good. I got a, I got I got him down to the uh, first. I got him through to the second phase. Actually, that was the third phase. I got through to the third phase. Pretty good. It's going to take me some time to get used to how to play this build against the uber bosses because I can't set up, unfortunately. Because, like, I don't really have time to set up because you can't just sit around when you're dealing with the uber bosses, they're just too dangerous. We could do a Katarina, actually. Let's do a Katarina. That sounds fun. And also something I probably won't fail at. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't me failing at the Uber Shaper. I, I know I need practice. Just ignore Katarina. Just walk right by. Fine, if you're going to throw pot shots at me. And you're gone. She's so full of herself, she's like, oh, I am, I am the life bringer. Death does not exist in my face, and I'm just like, well, I mean, I have, like, 500 fireballs from this guy. Really want to deal with me. I look forward to seeing what I can do. Is this... Okay, this is cool. This is a tier 16 June. Which is higher than the... Than the uh, Katarina video I did originally. I was a lot weaker back then. Ow. It keeps hitting me. Very rude people. Oh, right. She moves immediately. I forgot about that. God damn it! Oh. Oh no, I I I succeeded. I I thought she'd gotten away from me again. No, she just spawned Elrion. A soul burns for me. 
Well, your entire body burns for me, apparently. Let me get my Firestorm mines over to you. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Go away. Go away, all of you. I don't want any of you being on the ground. Attack me. That would be the worst. Okay. Nope. Darn it! What? Oh, I got clipped by the green thing! I was like, ah, I'm gonna be fine. I'm I'm standing far enough away. Darn it. Did, I put out a portal, right? Okay, good. I was gonna be like, no, don't make me walk back from the start. I know that June's scythe attack is not too dangerous to me. Okay, well... Next. Pagan's next. Pagan's dead. <laughs> He's like, aha! Splat. <laughs> nope, fuck you. Ow. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go away. Go away, all of you. Don't want to get exploded. Everything is priority over those little creatures. They always turn into invulnerable exploding skeletons that deal chaos damage. There's nothing worse than invulnerable exploding skeletons that deal chaos damage. Goodbye. Entire order. That's a can of Kulamak. I don't think I have one of those yet. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Err. Except the primal incubator. That's not useful. And a cool Mac. 71% increased unveiled modifier magnitude. Uh, it's it's worth something. Well, maybe you'll have to help me figure out how to, like, what to craft for its modifiers. Plus quality. Nav is better than that current kind of blast, but that. What should I be looking for on the Kana Kulamak, like, for unveiling? Because I, I just have no idea what I would pick. I assume there's, like, some set of, like, valuable modifiers or something. It has two veiled suffixes and one veiled. So I take it there's two options, either two veil prefix or two suffix. Place a random modifier on a rare item. Oh, this is my tier four Isling. Really have anything to do with the the Isling though. Most things I probably will brick if I try to play something on. 
I'll have to think about that. Wayne cartography scare. 63, nice. I'll just on to the camera now. What else do we have here? Lots of sacrifices, that's good. Adam has one to six white sockets. Oh, this is my breed. Hmm. What should I put this on? Yet another good question. Hit that fled. Lessons craftable. So I need something for Tiny's trial. I need something. I need a flask and something for and for something for the Isling. That's true. I could six socket the cane and then do that. Crafting. I'm not used to where it is. Oh, if adding quality to it is it like a higher chance to get better sockets or something, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I need that, and then I need something essence craftable too. I guess in that scenario, I'm probably gonna want to Hunter's Helm. Then I can try to roll whatever it's the maximum power charge craft. And if it rolls well, I can use the Isling on it. Unique. Is there any flasks I want to put this on? I have a perfect at Zero's Promise. Or at least perfect for me. On the, I'll put it on there. I will put it on the zero. Okay. Uh, essence crafting first. No. Scouring first, then essence crafting. Will I have the chance? Now I'm going to essence craft it. Okay, let's do this. Patient effect. Looking for max power charge. Don't care about the rest. Yeah. Nothing worthwhile. Oh boy, it men rolled. <laughs> Do have any crappy essences I can use? If 
I can just like happen to get a power charge, max power charge thing, I could totally use the Isling like right away. But I'd have to get pretty lucky. Or if I can just find like some really good stats. Actually some good stats. That's three tier ones. That's actually a maximum road life. Oh. Oh, holy shit. That's actually really well woke. Missing in a prefix. Okay, I'm going to add... Oh, wait. Add just a X. Well, ideally, an armor and energy. Oh no, I want flat. Flat energy. That brings it over, over 110 max life on that. That's pretty nice. Now I'm going to isling it. Oh, so I might get something decent. Not, wait, what? Place a random modifier on a rare item with. I. Do I not understand how Isling works? Maybe I don't understand how Isling works. I don't think I understand how Isling works. So I already need an item that had something veiled on it. Eh. Does that mean I can make like a double veiled into like a triple? I got the veil items. Add another this. It doesn't really seem incredibly worth the time, but I don't really have anything set up to use the Isling, unfortunately. I didn't really consider that aspect. Pretty sure she was a tier four. Well, I'm gonna remove the modifier I added and that helps, I don't know. I don't really wanna waste I might just end up wasting Iceling. It's unfortunate. Oh, that worked! Okay, yeah, you're right, I just needed to... Uh... Okay, yeah, you're right. Oh, it kept the really good stuff, too. It took out one of the Tier 1s, but it wasn't the important Tier 1. I, I did, because I intentionally wanted to give as many things as possible to place. Place a crafted thing, it wasn't going to matter that much. Oh, okay. We'll see what that comes out as. Oh, yes. Flask, flask, flask. I forgot about that. Flask. Let me better amethyst. Flask. Oh, that should be everything. I don't think I forgot anything. Oh, well, if I forgot something, then I forgot something. Whatever. I could bring it up to 61 cold res. 
or I could add a trigger socketed spells when focused. The trigger of socket spells when focus is rare, but so is 61% cold res. Hunter's Helm. I mean, this is max rolled, so I'm going to take it. That's really nice. The. And ideally, I'd like to check, like, specifically the... A lot of cold rest to have, that's for sure. Okay, well, that might be worse. It can take another prefix. And I think the power charge thing is a prefix, too. Not 100% sure. That would be requiring me to check path of, uh, path of build. No, not path of build. Craft of Exile. That is a suffix. Oh, this makes me want to uh, make do a gamble, actually. Because well, I don't have any, but if I have a Warlord's Exalted Orb, I have a 1 in 4 chance of getting max power charges on this. The other options being Warcry skills have increased area effect, physical damage from hits taken as fire damage, or increased elemental damage, all of which are not bad. Since this is above 85, above 83, that means I can get physical damage from hits, definitely. I think the ideal would have been if it was like 82 or something, so I could power charge up. Yeah, let's. You know what, let's gamble it. Let me just quickly grab a... Salted Orb. Ah, 60, I can do that. Oh, I'm in D&D &D mode. Right. Wow, two people responded to me after sending only two requests. That's really surprising. Game. It takes like 10 or 15 people. Back in the D&D. Okay. Okay, so we're going to gamble with the Warlord's Helmet. We have a 1 in 4 chance of getting maximum power charges on this, since we're rolling with prefixes only. And Warlord's Exalted Orb. God. I believe... Adam has influence. Yeah, it has Warlord influence. Wait, you can't add... Oh, what? Uh, 
Oh. That's really confusing. Like, I know that you can't just add, let's say, a Warlord's Exalted Orb to, like, a Redeemer item and get both, uh, both influences, but I didn't realize that you couldn't add a, modif a Warlord modifier to a Warlord item, because it's a Warlord item already. That's weak. That's really weird. Okay. Well, I guess that's a thing. Did I craft anything? <laughs> I mean, I can always add, like, armor energy sheet. That's certainly a thing. I could also just use a normal Exalted Orb, but a normal Exalted Orb runs the chance of a whole shit ton of other modifiers being in the mix. Yeah, okay, so that... That's blocked. Uh, okay, there's like 20 other modifiers that adds to the pool. That's absolutely not worth considering. Okay, well, if someone wants to fuck around with this, they can. Sell it for some, or for some reason. I'll sell it for something. Put all this stuff back into a spot now. What should I do? I'm not sure what builds use Canicula Max, so I'm not really... Probably going to consult some, some literature about this and see before I do any crafting on it. I don't really want to waste it. Oh, I forgot we have some gems. Or gems. <sighs> we have some div cards that we can play with too. No. Not going to sell these. Done that before. You're frustrating. Who do we get? Sort. Void. Harvest. This stuff is almost never valuable, but after having that one void that gave me the, uh, um, oh, there it is, the Torrent's Reclamation, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm being pretty careful with, uh, making sure to do my div cards on, on stream. Currency, give me mirrors. Blades, and we got an eradicator. Well, we've got some time. Let's farm some Searing Exarch. Certainly need it right now. What options do we have for maps? Just Spider Force. Spider Force is a Minimal spiders, surprisingly.
on this. The uh, Ida Shaper's character. Let us do some Searing X Arch farming. Go for some nice super maps. Oh boy. Lots of things. Don't want to be targeted with a meat. So, evasion writing. And so drop div cards. I like div cards. Don't like chaos damage, so... Chaos orbs. Now I can work on setting my syndicate back up again. After murdering everyone. Bro, why? I don't want you here. Elox moves to research, yep. Want that. Illock gives flask char or flask charges? No. Flask uh, quality in re Where I want them. Your gun, move to. Aura. Intervention, sure. <laughs> Harbinger scare. I'll stay there. Usually do pick up the six sockets, but right now I just... I don't know, I'm starting to feel like I don't need them. A lot of inventory space for... Okay, additional chaos orb. Pretty nice. Ah, I didn't get the box. Nope, not detonate. Thank you very much. Don't want to get blown up. Bad enough to detonate dead. I play detonate dead. It's very fun. Because of that, I know how strong it is. I don't remember how I generated corpses. Because I somehow was craft was casting on Earth. I might have been using the uh, trigger sock skills on focus thing for the helmets. That sounds... Oh my gosh, that's a lot.
I think I was using the trigger socketed skills, because, I mean, you want to be able to regularly activate it. Ideally, you want to activate as much as possible. No, I was using unearthed totems. That's what I was doing. And then I was using detonate dead myself after setting up the totems. That was fun. Like doing any chaos build and having weather. I think it's just about it for this jump. That's a portal. There's a lot of shit on the ground. We're not standing that. As I feel like about most shit on the ground. Shit shit. Sometimes setting up does really good. Sometimes it just doesn't go anywhere. No. 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 Not get no. You're just delaying the inevitable. Glimmer. If I can get a nice gamble from. Can you still get the Paranda signets? I feel like that was probably removed when the Paranda's League was. Or at least the Paranda's League stuff was removed. We're tier 14 Mesa. Mesa, happy to see. Yes, you can get it, or yes, it was removed. Oh, okay. Man, that's harsh. Die alone and afraid. Sheesh. So now it's part of a lore weave. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's probably better than it being part of an alteration orb. Oh! What a morph. Back here. Wait, what? You can teleport. Hey, stop tele. You fuck. Get back here. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to set up because obviously this guy intends to teleport away from my setups. Oh, I've got a heat. 
That's good. Those are now worth money after the changes. I just had a thought. Oh god. You are not the right thought, I'm gonna... Uh... I just had a thought. The, uh... Relicish is impatience. Now, it sets your maximum... Uh, your maximum... No, it sets your minimum charges to be your maximum charges. Uh, on all, your, all three of the charge types. You got a decent amount of charges. And... Then you went with a chieftain that has the uh, station, the like increased damage, or you ignore resistances when you're stationary. Then that would actually be really nice to get because you're only going to fight while stationary anyway. It also makes it being stationary less painful because you'll you know be able to stand getting murdered. Stand the you will to withstand the damage so you don't get murdered. I've been trying to find like a way of doing a stationary build with that ever since out. What scab shall we today? Breach. I like Breach. And sure, more so. How do I still get corrupted blood? I don't hit things. Oh my gosh. That initial moment when all the Searing X Heart stuff just appears, it has such lag potential to it. Her <laughs> stuff? Okay. Grab the smart. Ash, then deal with the meta. Then deal with the intervention people. Looking for a particular craft that only comes on jewelry. Not because I need it, but I want to have it. I don't even know why I want to have it, because I don't actually need to craft it anymore, but I just like having all the crafts in every league. I don't know why. Excellent in my mind. Oh, I love having five dashes because of my anomalous, anomalous second win. So nice. Especially good for the Searing Axe Arch fight, because there's a lot of jumping in there. Who's laughing? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Up. Intervention. That sounds good.
craft? No useful craft. Maps are blurring together. I was like, didn't I just do an in a syndicate laboratory? No, I didn't. I just remember doing it last time. Reflexively put portals everywhere. Better to be safe than sorry. Father would always say. Nope, don't care. Ah! And then just Huck gets bait to shit by them. Good luck, Huck! Get those cannibals. Get them. Get them. Right, I'll, I'll go help him. Unfortunate crickets the first time. I think I'm missing the boss. Boss is. I did walk past an area. That's not the. No, this looks right. Oh gosh. That is a lot of small creatures. <laughs> I didn't even see that one actually spawn. But vaporized. My throwing speed, but I have so many frenzy charges, it's so ridiculous. Clasped hands, I need clasped hands. Challenge. Thumb. Need them before it closes. There we go. Ooh, class hand. Yes, I got two. Okay. I only need like 30 more. Oh, I need 39 more. Darn it. This must be the boss. There we are. Oh, lots of goats. Prize goat. Things better than surprise goat. Sure, you can have chaos resistance. Sounds great. I deal lots of chaos damage. I don't deal chaos damage. Ooh. Cool. Nope, not a but a four.
of of the south. Okay, so I need an Agnarod best now. I have an Agnarod south, okay. Era the yes. I see the rogue metamorph already. This is only a 40% chance of the Rogue Metamorph, but I see them in so many maps. It doesn't feel like a 40% chance. It feels higher. Right, because I would prefer to have them in every map if I could manage it. Okay, right, hello, Huck. Give me Zealotry, please. Whoa. A little bit of lag there as the XR stuff spawned. Okay, and okay now. Tora! Intervention. Mara! Intervention point. No. Those flame spiral thingies are always so dangerous. Why this place is called the Spider Forest? Bears. I, I am joking. I, I realize that I've been fighting spiders this entire time. Or anyone gets too mad. All orbs. No, nothing. I found out that these uh, Vol side areas can actually have increased XP on them, which is crazy. Oh god, a force made of spiders sounds awful. Spider tree. Spider tree. Does whatever a spider tree can. Can swing from a web? Can't cause it's a tree. Look out. Here comes a DMCA. If my shitty rendition of Spider Pig gets a DMCA, I'll be so mad. Not even good at singing. Get, get away from... Yeah, okay. Sure. Oh, felt oh, nice. Have we seen any altars yet? No, we have... The, the icon's not in the bottom right, so we haven't seen any altars yet in this map. Weird and annoying. 
Oh, we haven't gone in here yet. There's the monotone voice changer. Oh, so that I don't get fire pegged out of existence? My normal voice is sometimes just very monotone, so if I just don't put any, like, power or inflection into it, then I don't work. <laughs> I love how the Delirium monsters will just, like, stop attacking me and just, like, lunge for the end evidence. Must destroy the evidence! Uh, oh, wrong portal. There it is. There's my abyss. Or for people who like to refer to them in a weird way, a bussy. Oh, I just wanted. <laughs> oh, I see your response, Pyro. Okay, if I don't see say things in the worst possible way they could possibly be explained, then who's going to? Like, really? Who is going to make things as bad as possible? I'll pick up the murder side jewel. Actually, I, I never know how to price these. Thing on that looks. No, stop, stop attacking me, Rock Elemental. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Great slash awful idea. If I focus on using Abyss uh, uniques and spirit charges, it could be the Abyssy character. Abyssy? I don't know which which I don't know which which inflection sounds better. And <laughs> neither is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much you would like it to be an option. So many Maven's invitations, I think. Need the not worth it. This was a really shitty Searing X Arch. Not a single altar. Okay, I'm going to go to a different map. Maybe one that has, like, stuff in it. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that one.
Arab. Are they are they worth more if they have better quant? Or does that just not even matter? Can you like got to be able to corrupt these and Okay, well that one has a hundred percent. Maybe that's worth more. Maybe it's also not worth more. <laughs> I don't know. Carbinger. I guess I can just do Harbingers. Like Harbinger. Actually, I don't really like Harbinger a ton, but they are good for having more. And I immediately get one. Yeah, that's fair. It's like they say, you can paint a stone to make it more pretty, and it might sell for a few dollars, but at the end of the day, it's still a rock. No one says that, I just made that up, but still. The point stands. Actually, maybe someone does say that. Maybe I just happened upon something. Awaken section some awesome. Gotta buy stream of monsters, favorite. Oh, that would be a really fun passive for the uh, Atlas passive tree. All, all um, strong boxes can't roll. Gotta buy stream of monsters. All strong boxes are are guarded by stream of monsters. Extent, nice. Grab uh, a shrine while I'm at it. Where is that hand? That hand! I think I got it. Doing. Oh, the intervention here. Or, uh, inter, inter, intercation, intercation here. Oh, Mr. Paint Shop. Why do I feel so weak? Let's cool that reduction. 
That shouldn't be it. Oh, they must just be doing more damage because of the hits can all hits always ignite. Good thing I'm a saboteur. Oh, you stay there. What? Didn't mean to come home, but okay. Yeah, I wonder sometimes if I should go into essences, because being able to set up on every single essence monster does make them a pretty good target for me, but also essences are worth nothing ever. Like, even the ones where, like, I sell it for below the price that the essence is worth, still no one buys them. Ironically, if we had an auction house, essences would sell better. Because no one wants to go around buying one essence at a time for each crafting attempt. It's just not worth your time. What happens if you need to spend 100 essences? Are you going to do 100 trades? No, you're not going to do 100 trades. No one wants to do that. And you're only going to get, like, one in... If you're lucky, one in six pe people will respond sale or to your request to buy them. So you have to message, let's say, 600 people to get 100 essences. Or more. wonder no one wants to use essences. Yeah, I would love access to to the auction house that is already in the game, console version. Ask and ye shall receive, apparently. Ooh, a Drox map, nice. And the four way consexton section. That was the boss part of the map. I've killed all the harbingers. Map done. Have any good altar effects? No. It's just a worse normal map currently. Okay, no, I do have breach. Did I use a breach scarab or did I get lucky? I got lucky. Last hand. 38 more. 37 more. That was a very, very beefy breach. Wow. That. Augmentation. Fine.
I don't have to buy anymore. And to use a lot. People probably look at me weird if I say I use like one to two thousand orbs of augmentation and. And I'm a I'm a I'm a cluster jewel crafter, which is why most people don't know how to craft cluster jewel. Really make a fair bit of money on them. Arcade. I can fight the debris. Projectiles. Mainly just don't want to deal. That's what kills me. Being a character that has a stupid amount of regeneration by default, so it kind of Keeps me safe. That was rude, to say the least. Wow, okay. So there's a harbinger at the start. But I'm learning. Ow, holy shit. Oh, this is... They're bottlenecking me. I'm the only one who bottlenecks people. Wait. Oh, percent increased intelligence belt. Me? Nope. Fuck off. Riker. Oh my god. Hold on. Before I get destroyed by these guys. Okay, that was not nice. Who's here? Oh, I already killed Jorgen, so the others... Man, this is so brutal! I guess it doesn't matter too much why, but... My input is go away. There's the Syrian XR stuff. I have Searing Exars, Delirium, and Harbingers all spawning things on me right now. Man, that was rough. In we go. It's gonna be somewhat dangerous. Careful. Nope, not there. I recognize that. I gr recognize that voice. Uh, 
Intelligence. Search intelligence. Dear God. Let's be tired. Research intelligence. God damn it. There's a worm. That's what's going on. Okay, so I got an increased intelligence belt. I mean, it's worth at least 10c from the base. I wonder if I could craft it into some. I could probably get it pretty high with just just a blessed orb. Or not uh, with a uh, what are the, whatever the attribute catalysts are called. Intrinsic catalysts. Probably bring it up to like 15. No, I'd be 14. 20, 20% of 12. 25% of 12 would be not 3. 5%. 20% down. Down. Or in other words, math, 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 math. Transportation going through a ritual. Wow, that's why this place is just chock full of mobs. The density here is ridiculous. So many maths. Also need to re-roll the Going all the way back to me talking about challenges a long time ago, I need to re a bunch of these. A bunch of ritual things. I want to call this I need to re-roll favor a bunch. Reroll favor eighty one more times. God. I probably should be using the blood-filled vessels for that, because that will give me a lot more favor. Oops. Apparently, since I don't do ritual, I just like do enough that I have 2,000 favor, and then I... Regardless what the end... God, the density in this place is ridiculous. Oh, I need to go back. Away exile. To be honest, the rogue exiles don't really add anything to the game, in my opinion. They seem kind of like a superfluous game element. Either they do nothing, or they somehow count hard counter your builds, and suddenly you just have this really, really stupidly painful enemy in your way. And there's no really good reason for it. And, I mean, they, they don't give it. They don't drop anything. Okay, well, they technically drop things, but, like, they never drop anything of value. I've, I've noticed. It doesn't really seem to be ha like, or they're... Considering their difficulty, it doesn't seem to be a point having them in the game at all.
That's fair, but like, I don't know. Remove the Hall of Grand Masters from the game at the same time. So, I don't think they're going to remove the Exiles, the Roy Exiles at any point. For two reasons. One, people paid to have their their like their likeness or whatever in the game build to show up. And two, they've already put a ooh, they've already put passives into the Atlas passive tree for them. And so far, none of the things that have been removed, like. Uh, Prophecies or brand it. I think it was anything. None of those stuff had Atlas passive added before, and even though the Atlas passive tree, I believe, existed before some of those were. I don't feel like they're going to remove anything that uh, has a passive art. Silver Flask of the Cheetah. Apparently, this is worth 20 chaos. Linked Influence Body Armor. So, okay, some of these are actually decent. Actually, some stuff is really decent in this. I have to delay it or defer it. That's the word. And this is a really big map. Holy shit. Boss room! And it took a long time to get here. Oh my gosh! Why is there so much stuff in this one room? I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this! Uh. Okay, that's a little bit better. Can't go away. Oh, ooh, that was a minion cluster. I love those. Great. Ritual. To kill everything out. More danger just getting mobbed than anything else, I feel like. Okay, gonna defer that. I def 
for both of them. That, though. For that. Okay. I gotta pick a different map. This map has a lot of running in it. That I can probably craft this at some point. I don't really know what to craft that into. Wait, do I have... There's like attribute boss. Attribute. Fundamentals. Yes, I should look for that. Maybe if I see if I can craft a... A belt with strength and int on it. The percent int. Really good for... Need to get some resonators though. I don't have any resonators. Resonators are always such a pain to buy. Uh oh, we're almost three hours in. I should probably call it, actually. Don't want to use up too much energy, and I have a lot of things that I want to work on. So, need to make sure to maintain my energy. Oh, thank you all for watching today. I appreciate it. Everyone who is here and has been here, I appreciate you coming. It makes the game so much more fun to be able to have people to talk to while we play, and be able to show off the things that I know and hopefully teach y'all something so you can make more money in the game, have more fun, whatever works. Have a good night, everyone. I'm going to head out now. Have a good night, Pyro.